Good day. Hi, it's me, Nelka again, and I received an email from a friend. I think I missed something in my video, so I need to fill in the gap. Let's read his comment first. How do you import the second floor's drawing in the same project and cut the different rooms on it? We see the construction in video 3, but you don't mention how you did it, so I'm sorry for that. I think I missed that one. Maybe during that time, I didn't record it. So sorry for that, and I will, uh, I will promise you that I will uh, tell you how I did it. And the other question is, how can I adjust the inclined roof with the second floor? Because the doors come out the roof, and I didn't know how to fix it. Uh, on my first time, I, I also don't know how to do it, but I experimented, and <coughs> I did it. And uh, you just have to do experiment and try and try and try and again until you did it. Okay, so I will show you how I did it, so you will not try and try and try again. Okay, let's do it and open this Dialogs Evo file. And uh, let's make it faster, because I need to finish my laundry. <laughs> so it's opening, and here you go. This is the Dialogs Evo, which I showed you in my first five videos. Now, I'm going to remove the second floor, as per your request. Let's go to these layers. So you, see, you can see here now I have in the building one, which is I have one building here, I have the ground floor and the second floor. So we're going to remove the second floor. We need to delete it and let's say yes. Oh no, I delete it. So we will create now the second floor from the very beginning so you will know how I did it. First, you will need to import the second floor drawing. In my case, I already imported it. But uh, for your case, let's remove it for now. And then let's import it again. Imagine that we finished our ground floor here. In the ground floor, I want to show you some layers also. And you can see here, in these tabs, these are already similar to layers in a CAD file drawing. Okay, when you click this side tab, you will see everything in your project in the site area, including the building, the trees, the pathwalk, the driveway, and if you have any other structures, then you will see it in the site. And then if you click the building, you will see it's only a building. Similar to the site, you will have the floor plan, and then the four elevations, like that. And then if you go to the ground floor tab, you will see that ground floor plan. And then of course, you also have an option for the plan view and elevations or sections. You also have these room tabs, which you can see it the pull down menu. There's an arrow here. So you will see other rooms aside from the first one showing in the tab. Whatever your rooms in the ground floor on, or, or on that level, you will see it here in this tab. It's like from macro to micro to the fullest details of every rooms. So macro and micro. Okay, so let's start now doing your request the second floor. First, we need to import the second floor plan. So let's go back to this tab, import drawing, click the second floor, and then open. Before importing it, you have to make sure that you save your drawings into separate files like the ground floor and the second floor. So you will import it separately. And you have to make sure also that it has the same scale and it is located in the 00, zero axis okay so let's go and select the second floor and say open now if you go here you will have now the first floor and then the second floor so let's import it now to create a second floor you need to go to this building tab and then you need to select this new empty story because there are two options here new empty story and a duplicate story if you want to duplicate the story you will copy everything like the the doors the windows here i want to show you the options in our case you, we don't need to copy that similar ground floor because it, this is different our ground floor is so different from the second floor if it's too typical like for multi-story building sometimes the third floor is typical up to the tenth floor then you will copy it as a typical one or you just need to duplicate it simultaneously but this one it's different it's totally different so we don't copy it so let's go back here in this tab we will create a new empty story so click this one and here you go we have an empty story 
empty store because we will create our own new floor. And to have a guide, we need to open the CAD file. So let's go to this tab and then click this one so it will show. And you may want to put this CAD file into the level also, like in the ground floor. Let's click the ground floor. You will see here that the CAD file here is on the level of the floor of the ground floor. So we want to show that one in the second floor as well. So let's go to this drawing and then click this positioning into zero because it's in the negative. So let's put zero and ta-da, it will be in the zero level. And it is in the second floor now. Okay, now we will create the walls. Go to the plan view and go to this tab and create a new building contour. Click this one. And you have to make sure that the level of your ground floor is similar to the second floor. If you can see here, I think it's not aligned. So we have to move the drawing. Let's go back first here. Click this one. Move drawing. And see, this is the edge of the ground floor wall. And we should click this one aligned to this uh, ground floor wall. So move the drawing. Click this one and then move. And then... I think it's aligned now. Then we will start doing our second floor. Okay, go back to this tab, create new building contour, and then similar to the, what we did in the ground floor, create a new building wall, right click close, and then create your walls. Go back to the drawing, you will see here that the wall here is from this side only. This one is void because it's too low. So we will follow this wall and let this one as empty, okay? Alright, so let's go back here and draw a new indoor contour. First, bedroom. Let's do the first bedroom. The wall is here and up to this one only. And here and here. And now we have our first bedroom. Okay, and then a new one. Okay, now we have our second floor but if you see in the CAD file the wall in the second floor is like it's too little unlike on the ground floor it's like 2.5 meters high but this one it's like let's check it's like 40 centi so we will create a 40 centimeter wall first go back to this file and you can see here the default is 2.5 so we need to make it 0.4 or 4 centi and then enter then it will become like this why I do that because I I need to create a roof. Um, there's m there's maybe a, a other technique, but that's how I did it. So I will show you how I did it. All right. So let's go back to the drawing card file again and check the height of the roof. Go to this uh, um, inner part of the roof and go to the finished floor line, and you will see it's 4.5. Let's go back here and go to this roof tab. And then in the rooftop, you will select a roof that is similar to ours. So we will select a double pitch roof. And then once you selected it, just drag and drop like that. You can see here it's, it's wrong. It's a little wrong for now, but we will adjust it accordingly. So we will adjust it here. It's 4.5. And you can see here now it's the roof. Now this is a little wrong because you should have wall here on this side. Unfortunately, because I put 40 centi only on the wall, it happens. So I will go back to the second floor and I will adjust the room height, similar to the height of the roof, which is 4.5. So I'm changing the, the number here into 4.5 and then enter. And it will become like this. So I need to adjust it downward. Select the roof tab and then adjust this one and move it down. You need to move it down like this there you go and let's see in the oh see there you are now I think it's right and it's there so you have to move it down if you want to double check go to the front view or the side view and check the height of the roof so yeah it's more or less 4.5 it's 4.431 you can adjust it later okay so uh, now you have your second floor and the sloping roof. But one more thing, you have to place this window here. 
and how to do that of course you need to go back here go to this apertures and select the similar um, window to that CAD drawing and I saw this one this is a skylight I think this is perfect so let's select the skylight and drag and drop or position it like this and there you are I think it's perfect we have to double check the location of the skylight so go back to the plan view and you can see the yellow square that is the location of the skylight or the roof so we need to adjust our skylight on that side right click and then move and then place your window accordingly okay I think this is much wider so we need to scale it or change it here let's make this one 0.8 8 and this one is 0.9 there you are all right you can adjust it later if you want to make it precise so let's look and there you go and of course in the CAD file you will see that there are three windows and another three windows on the other side so we have six windows or six skylights on the roof so we need to create that one and since you have this one and you have the size here you just have to copy it together on the other side and on this side also so just click this one and then click and another one here and then if you want to make sure that the location is correct go to the plan view select the window and move it of course on the other side let's see you need to put your skylight also here so just click this one position active building opening and then click and click it's like you're playing and then if you want to make it precise the location is correct you need to go to the plan view and move your skylight or your window accordingly right click select the move and then move it Ta -da! now there you have your roof with skylight okay I think we need to select the material for the roof so go back to this tab materials select um, catalogs default catalog of Dilux Evo and then go to the roof coverings and then I think we select this one before so just drag and there you are you now have your roof and window and then I think we need to copy this wall to that wall also so pick, pick material copy this one and then apply material hmm. apply this one also okay so now you have a complete house so let's review how do you import the second floor drawing so I already mentioned that one and cut the different rooms on it or I, I never mentioned that one to you it's not cutting the room it's already the default uh, option of uh, Dialux Evo that's the good thing actually of Dialux Evo because you can see the rooms like it is cut I would like to show you how just click this tab for example you go to the ground floor and if you click this one the ISO you will see that it's there so if you go to the second floor you will see it like this also see you see now your rooms and if you cut this one because it's a stair you can also cut this one later if you like okay so next question is how can I adjust the inclined roof with the second floor because the, the doors came out of the roof okay I already showed you how you just need to create your second floor with a slight lower wall first and then adjust it using the window tab here and go to the elevation or this view and then click the roof and then move up and down if you like to make it precise go to this view front or side and then you may up or down the roof okay then there you go it's I think it's done if you have question to all my friends there okay I saw this one this is a CAD file so you need to remove it in this site view so it's gone okay so I think I answered all your question I may continue now my laundry activity okay bye